Hello and welcome to my channel. I saw on TikTok or YouTube that you could make a lid for these small jars and I have a lot of these so I want to do this. Um, I sadly forgot the name of the creator for this one but this is not my idea. I'm just showing how to do it. If you know who that was please let me know so I can credit the person. I rolled out a piece of clay on a thin setting, then I took a circle cutter and that says I don't have a circle cutter in that size because I don't want it to be too big and I don't want it to be too small. So I used this oblong cutter and made a circle with that instead. Then I fold the polymer clay down over the edge of this little bottle and I'm using a piece of a sewing thread that I am um, trying to um, put around the top here of the lid and then make a tiny knot and it's not going that well. It, it's actually the hard part of this little craft here. So I'm tying the knot carefully. There we go. And then I am going to put it around again because I think one piece of sewing thread is a tiny two bit thin for me. So I'm going around again and I am making a double knot here. It is a little tricky but the result is really really good. Then I have some small acupuncture needles, so I am just poking two small holes here in the lid. You can use a normal needle, but that leaves a bigger hole. And I'm doing that because then the air can flow out and it won't bubble up. If you don't make the holes, it will bubble up. I made some oranges and some kiwi the other day, and I found that these... Um, leftovers here was pretty cool so I ran them through my pasta machine and I'm going to make a lid of that as well just because I can. And I am doing the exact same thing here. And I am doing the exact same thing here. I cut out the circle, place it carefully around the jaw then uh, tie a string around the top here and poke the two small holes in there. Remember to poke at least one hole in this one so the air can flow around. I am doing two so I'm sure it is working. And I also made one from the Kiwi Rest clay. After baking and cooling down I am gluing these strings in place so they are sitting just like I want them to. And I'm doing this on all of my small jars. And if your strings are too long, you can always cut a tiny bit of them. Then I have all these nail decals paper thingies. Um, and uh, they are so pretty and they're just so easy to put on top of these small lids to decorate it. And then I don't have to think about how to color or paint it. All you do is to take off the protective sheet, then dip them in water a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on the picture. And then you can just slide it carefully off this little piece of paper. 
um, just be careful with that because if you do it too uh, quick you might ruin the little picture just slide it off carefully and then you can place it on top of your lid right here or on something else that you want to decorate it with something really easy and cool I wanted to make something to put in these small jars, so I rolled out a piece of dough colored clay and put on over some cellophane or Vita wrap or what you call this. And I'm just taking this small cookie cutter that I have and pushing it really good through the clay, making sure I'm all the way through. Uh, you can use whatever kind of cookie cutter you have. The reason why I'm having the cellophane over is to make sure that it is not getting stuck in my cookie cutter. When I have all the cookies, then I just peel off the foil and I can peel off the rest clay and use that for something else. Something else. I'm quickly using a toothbrush to give all these small cookies some textures. And then I'm using my soft pastel, this brown color, to give these cookies a baked look. So I'm just gonna do this all over these small cookies. I am using a tiny bit of the darker brown as well to make them really look nice and baked. Then I just open the small jars, carefully lifting up the polymer clay lid, popping some of these in there, after baking of course, and then popping on the lid again, and that's all there is to this little craft. I hope you liked it, so thank you for watching, and happy crafting!